<laughs> yeah, Brooks, we have a few more hours. How's right. the weather looking around liftoff time? It's probably 50 50. Oh, no. and we'll see. It's, uh, there's going to be a lot of clouds around, and it could violate some of the rules. So it may get scrubbed again. We'll see. I'm optimistic. <laughs> That's and it. Those waves coming from the hurricane, right? Yeah. That is an issue. Well, then there's that. Yeah. So as it, you know, seeking a southern trajectory, so it's going to land in the Bahamas. Hopefully, it's in the shadow of that big swell. Anyway, that said, um, yeah, they've got a barge in the Bahamas that the boosters land on. Um, we've got some rain out there, and this rain is going to be impactful for our Friday night football in a couple of communities. Heavy rain right now in southeastern Orange County heading into northern Brevard, so it's a, a real thunderstorm kind of afternoon here in the Rockledge area. Also some storms moving out of DeLand toward uh, areas like Sanford here in the next hour and Lake Monroe catching some downpours at Century Plaza right now here in Orlando heading for the 417 near South Dean Road. That's going to be south of the 408. It's moving southeast at about 10 miles per hour. All right, let's go farther to the north. This is Orange City and Cassia. This band of cells. I don't want to call them storms because well, there's no lightning right now, so technically it's just a downpour, but it could start to produce lightning. It's heading southeast to 12 miles an hour, so it's going to approach Lake Monroe in about 12 minutes from now, and if it holds together in its current state, Sanford in about 27 minutes, and San Lando in about 40 minutes from now. So, uh, we're just going to hit or miss storms. It's going to continue through at least 10 o'clock tonight, but in some places, the storms will be a lot more persistent, and that's where we start to see some impacts to, uh, to the game times, to some of the delays that are a potential. Coco right now, Lake Poinsett, Rockledge, big downpour rolling down I-95 toward Bonaventure, Foyman, and Georgiana. It'll be there by 5.30. And this one is packing a little bit of lightning. So as far as the forecast goes, let's use our exclusive Fox model to check out the future radar through 6 o'clock. Good chance for some rain from Claremont through Kissimmee. The general storm motion is to the south, southeast. So Leesburg and the villages, we may catch rain through 7 o'clock. You can see the overall coverage, though, around the area. A lot of places will be recovering from the afternoon downpours meeting. It'll all be over, but some of us still catching some rain, especially on the south side. I'm optimistic, though, that the games won't be completely canceled, maybe just delayed for an hour in some places. So what does that mean for Flagler Palm Coast at Matanzas? Well, we've got about a 40% chance for rain. That's good. It's more optimistic, the forecast. Temperatures will be in the upper 70s. They'll probably be just fine. Daytona Beach right now, though, we've got some rip current action that'll be with us all weekend long. It's a very confused to see. Live view from our Hard Rock Hotel Cam. Beautiful shot though, but the rip currents will be a danger on all East Coast beaches this weekend with five to seven foot waves highest as the tide comes in. So heads up from Palm Coast all the way down through Brevard County. It's best to swim only if you see a lifeguard. If you're on a beach without a lifeguard, it's best to just look at the water and enjoy the beautiful views. Hurricane Lee is making its way north. It's starting to dissipate, but that's the driving force for the waves. We'll have six to seven foot waves tomorrow uh, and a high risk for rip currents. Now for the launch tonight, it looks like there will be some showers in the vicinity, so I'm giving at about a 50 50 chance, but if it does go off, it'll happen about 11 38 p.m. That said, Hurricane Lee is making landfall tonight into tomorrow in the Canadian Maritime province of Nova Scotia near Yarmouth in Nova Scotia. Tropical storm warnings from Cape Cod up through down east Maine, but the impacts in the U.S. comparatively very low, gusts to 50, maybe 55 miles per hour. 80 percent chance for rain tomorrow in the afternoon and a 70 percent chance on Sunday, catching a break in the action for Tuesday and Wednesday before we're back to the higher rain chances by this time next week. Coming up in the next half hour, we'll check out our future radar taking us through the weekend. Luann and John.